lesson today is 122 from the workbook of A Course in Miracles. Lesson 122, Forgiveness Offers Everything I Want. Forgiveness Offers Everything I Want. What could you want forgiveness cannot give? Do you want peace? Forgiveness offers it. Do you want happiness? A quiet mind, a certainty of purpose, and a sense of worth and beauty that transcends the world? Do you want care and safety and the warmth of sure protection always? Do you want a quietness that cannot be disturbed, a gentleness that can never be hurt, a deep abiding comfort, and a rest so perfect that it can never be upset? All this forgiveness offers you, and more. It sparkles on your eyes as you awake, and gives you joy with which to meet the day. It soothes your forehead while you sleep, and rests upon your eyelids, so you see no dreams of fear and evil, malice and attack. And when you wake again, it offers you another day of happiness and peace. All this forgiveness offers you, and more. Forgiveness lets the veil be lifted up that hides the face of Christ from those who look with unforgiving eyes upon the world. It lets you recognize the Son of God and clears your memory of all dead thoughts so that remembrance of your Father can rise across the threshold of your mind. What would you want forgiveness cannot give you? What gifts but these are worthy to be sought? What fancied value, trivial effect, or transient promise, never to be kept, can hold more hope than what forgiveness brings. Why would you seek an answer other than the answer that will answer everything? Here is the perfect answer. Given to imperfect questions, meaningless requests, half-hearted willingness to hear, and less than halfway diligence and partial trust. <laughs> Here is the answer. Seek for it no more. You will not find another one instead. God's plan for your salvation cannot change, nor can it fail. Be thankful it remains exactly as he planned it. Changelessly, it stands before you like an open door, with warmth and welcome calling from beyond the doorway, bidding you to enter in and make yourself at home where you belong. Here is the answer. Would you stand outside while all of heaven waits for you within? Forgive and be forgiven. As you give, you will receive it. There is no plan for this, but for the salvation of the Son of God. Let us rejoice today that this is so. For here we have an answer, clear and plain, beyond deceit, in its simplicity. All the complexities the world has spun of fragile cobwebs dis disappear. Look, look. All the complexities the world has spun of fragile cobwebs disappear before the power and the majesty of this extremely simple statement of the truth. Here is the answer. Do not turn away in aimless wandering again. Accept salvation now. It is the gift of God and not the world. The world can give no gifts of any value to a mind that has received what God has given as its own. God wills salvation be received today and that the intricacies of your dreams no longer hide their nothingness from you. 
Open your eyes today and look upon a happy world of safety and of peace. Forgiveness is the means by which it comes to take the place of hell. In quietness, it rises up to greet your open eyes and fill your heart with deep tranquility as ancient truths forever newly born arise in your awareness. What you will remember then can never be described, yet your forgiveness offers it to you. Remembering the gifts forgiveness gives, we undertake our practicing today with hope and faith that this will be the day salvation will be ours. Earnestly and gladly will we seek for it today, aware we hold the key within our hands, accepting heaven's answer to the hell we made, but where we would remain no more. Morning and evening do we gladly give a quarter of an hour to the search in which the end of hell is guaranteed. Begin in hopefulness, for we have reached the turning point at which the road becomes far easier. And now the way is short that yet we travel. We are close indeed to the appointed ending of the dream. Sink into happiness as we begin these practice periods, for they hold out the sure rewards of questions answered and what your acceptance of the answer brings. Today it will be given you to feel the peace forgiveness offers and the joy the lifting of the veil holds out to you. Before the light you will receive today, the world will fade until it disappears and you will see another world arise you have no words to picture. Now we walk directly into light and we receive the gifts that have been held in store for us since time began, kept waiting for today. Forgiveness offers everything you want. Today, all things you want are given you. Let not your gifts recede throughout the day as you return again to meet a world of shifting change and bleak appearances. Retain your gifts in clear awareness as you see the changeless in the heart of change, the light of truth behind appearances. Be tempted not to let your gifts slip by and drift into forgetfulness, but hold them firmly in your mind by your attempts to think of them at least a minute as each quarter of an hour passes by. Remind yourself how precious are these gifts with this reminder, which has power to hold your gifts in your awareness through the day. Forgiveness offers everything I want. Today, I have accepted this as true. Today, I have received the gifts of God. That is lesson 122. Forgiveness offers everything I want. If you'd like to read my commentary on the workbook this year, go to amytorresasim.com and click on Amy's blog. Namaste.